Hidden Miracles of the End Times of Our Prophet Number 6. An Attack on the Kaaba and Bloodshed in the Kaaba If someone predicted things that would happen in five to ten years' time, and then they happen just as described, you would be very surprised, wouldn't you? If such a thing happened to you, wouldn't you want to tell everyone around you about it? Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam foretold all the things that would happen in this century 1,400 years ago. And whatever he said would happen, they all happened. Yet some Islamic scholars never talk about what our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam foretold, even though they know it has all come true. Does this seem honest to you? Of course not. Look at what our Prophet said 1,400 years ago. The year when he appears, people will go on the Hajj with no leader at their head. They will head for the Kaaba together. Then when they descend to Mina, they will attack one another like dogs. Pilgrims will be robbed and blood will flow over the Jemre road. The attack on the Kaaba happened right at the beginning of the time, when the other portents of the coming of Hazrat Mahdi, peace be upon him, began to take place. In other words, on the first day of Hijri 1400. First Muharram 1400, November 21st, 1979. They have attacked the Kaaba, November 22nd, 1979. Armed attack at the Kaaba, November 22nd, 1979. Mecca has been invaded, November 21st, 1979. The Masjid al Haram in Mecca attacked. Holy Mosque in Mecca attacked, worshippers taken hostage. Note that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Blood will be shed at the Kaaba the year the Mahdi appears. And blood was indeed shed at the Kaaba on the first day of Hijri 1400 or 1979. Is that not a clear miracle? Should the whole Islamic world not be told about the miracles of our Prophet when they happen? Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has warned the entire Ummah that scholars will cease to talk about the systems of the Mahdi and the Dajjal in the time when the Mahdi appears. The Dajjal will not appear until the people become negligent in talking about him and until the Imams abandon talking about him on the minbars in their kutbah. Islamic scholars should avoid falling into this position described in the Hadiths and stop concealing our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam miracles of the end times.